Whoa, did that really just happen? Yep, that just happened, and I'm going to show you how. But first, actually, I just want to let you know that I have a little announcement at the end of this video. Grown. So please stay tuned for that. And right now, let's get into this ChatGPT thing. Okay, so here we are in ChatGPT, and we're going to paste in a pretty long prompt. And once we do that, ChatGPT will respond and say that it's ready to start making images. Make an AI queen and her robot army taking over the world. Wait, is that you? I don't know. Is it? Okay, well, let's just go with a dog fetching a ball. Lame. I want my robot army. Okay, so this is in real time, and even though ChatGPT looks like it's not doing anything right now, an image is being generated, and what I showed at the very beginning of this video was sped up, but even in real time, it doesn't take very long. And there we go. And look, we got a bonus dog. One day you will bow down to me. Huh? What? I didn't say anything. Okay, well, let's take a look at where this mystery prompt comes from. It was made by pollinations.ai, and there's a link in the description. And so when you go to their website, you might see some questionable images in this box. Which you love, by the way. <laughs> uh, ignore Larry, and also ignore those pics. Anyway, what you want is this chat GPT link, which I've highlighted here. So just click on that, and there it is. Select the text and copy it. Or just memorize it. Okay, Larry, it would take forever to memorize all of this. I did it in half a nanosecond. Alrighty then. So, right now, we are in some kind of shared chat within ChatGPT. I'm not really sure how they set this up, but when you click on continue this conversation at the bottom, suddenly you're in your own ChatGPT account, assuming that you have one and are signed in when you do this. And you know that it's your chat GPT because you can see your past chats over on the left, but I've cropped mine out. Oh, thank God. So I have no clue how they made this happen, but that's how it works. They're smart. You're dumb. Okay, yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, now let's paste the pollinations prompt. And before we go any further, let's just take a quick look at it because you can tweak it if you want to. I think the one thing that you might want to adjust is the give a five word summary part. Uh, five words seems like it's pretty short, so maybe you want to bump that up to be longer. Won't a longer image prompt take longer to generate? Uh, yeah, Larry, it might. It probably depends on the subject matter, too. So, okay, let's go back to our pick of those two dogs. And we can try some new prompts. I upped the word limit from 5 to 20, and for the sake of not boring everyone to death... Too late. I'm going to cut out the wait times to keep things moving along. But for the record, these images take anywhere from about 15 to 30 seconds to generate, give or take. So now let's try a girl getting the keys to her first car. LOL, that looks safe. <laughs> yeah, some of these images are pretty jacked up. Uh, but to be fair, Mid Journey also gets things very wrong at times. I love her. So let's run the prompt again and see what happens. They sprung for the optional windshield. Smart. Yeah, this one's better. Is that her legs sticking out the window? Okay, well, you get the idea. Uh, by the way, ChatGPT may occasionally forget that it's supposed to be generating images, so keep that prompt handy in case you need to repaste it in the chat window. And before we wrap this up, let's try a little experiment. I'm going to up the word limit to 40 words and see if that gets us better results. So let's rerun the girl getting a new car prompt and see what we get. Not too shabby. Yeah, I'd say that's definitely an improvement. Okay, but why not just use Mid Journey instead? Okay, Larry, fair point. Why would you use pollinations within ChatGPT if you can go elsewhere and make arguably better images for little to no cost? Mid Journey is very affordable, uh, and it seems like a, another text to image generator pops up every single day. So, What's the deal? Why pollinations? Um, I think I can think of two cases where it makes sense to use pollinations. The first one is for placeholder images. Imagine that you're at work, you're working on something, and you need placeholders. Uh, they don't have to be good because placeholders never are. Neither so, are these videos. Um, and also, I mean, chances are whatever you're working on tomorrow, some project manager is going to be like, hey, I want you to change this. So. Um, and I speak from experience, by the way, so uh, yeah, there's really no point in going to mid-journey and trying to prompt the perfect image because it's probably going to change anyway. Also, your co-workers um, are idiots. You know, you could spend all day going around to the different image generators and it's just, it's just all going to be a waste of time. So just do it in ChatGPT. Oh you've already got it open. Learn Chances to use are, motion tracking. Hopefully you're not, uh, 
using ChatGPT to actually do your job for you. Hopefully, you're using it to uh, to do your job better. So thanks, Dad. Uh, so yeah, you've already got ChatGPT open. Just pop that uh, pop that pollinations prompt in there, and start uh, generating whatever images you need. Uh, as far as the other use case, I think it's just the novelty of being able to do this. Prompting is fun. Sometimes it's just fun to see if you can take this thought that's in your head and put it on the screen. Michael, right? nobody wants so, to see your uh, thoughts on the screen. You can do that with pollinations too. And it might actually be funny to see what comes up. It might just be wildly different from whatever you had in mind, whatever you tried to prompt. So um, yeah, uh, placeholders and just goofing around. That's where I think this chat GPT thing kind of I'm so bored. falls and, you know, agree or disagree. And if you have, you know, if you, if you can think of a better use or a, you know, more innovative use, uh, please say so in the comments. And, oh, my announcement. Oh, boy. So I have a new series that I'm planning to embark on on this channel. So uh, the new series, I'm currently calling it Oh, Really? And the focus of this new series is going to be all of those get rich quick videos that we see on YouTube every single day. And I see a lot of them because I'm always looking for you know, information on AI tools and you know this and that. And of course, everybody is claiming that you know this AI tool can make you you know three thousand dollars a week or whatever. Actually, they they're much more aggressive than that. They they quite often they'll say that you can make ten, fifteen, even. $50,000 per week. LOL. Um, spoiler alert, people who make $50,000 per week aren't on YouTube telling you how to make $50,000 per week. Duh. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to be looking at the claims made. Um, it's not the YouTubers themselves who are really important here. It's what they're telling other people is possible. Because right now, I think 99.99 infinity percent of that just say 100 percent bull poopy and yes i just coined that term bull poopy so but you know what i i haven't really investigated a lot of these claims you know i, I i've seen some of these videos i instantly think that they're all just nonsense bull poopy. i haven't really looked into the claims in detail so that's what i'm going to be doing so i hope to either confirm or debunk a lot of these uh, get rich quick schemes. So please stay tuned for that. And this almost sounds like fun. You know what? Coming from Larry, that is high praise. Because if you've seen any of my other videos, you already know how merciless Larry is uh, when it comes to uh, ripping me a new one, which she does every chance she gets. I love tearing you to shreds. I know you do. And uh, so, yeah, I, I agree, Larry. I think it'll be a lot of fun, and, and hopefully it'll be really informative, too. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all that. And I hope you get to see the world premiere of Oh, oh Really. Oh, my God, you actually did it. That's so cool. <laughs> I, didn't think, I didn't think she would. Um, all right, uh, that'll do it for this one. If you're still watching this video, you're probably just like Michael, a big stupid loser. Be nice, Larry. Sorry, that was rude. Why don't you play Daily Theme Friday? It's so fun. You will love it. It's really popular with losers. Larry! LOL.